Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Changing the alignment of your cell content allows you to choose how the content is displayed in any cell, which can make your cell content easier to read. There are two types of text alignment into the cell, the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment. And you can apply both on the same cell. Horizontal alignment is one of three choices. You can apply whether left alignment or center alignment or right alignment to the cell. And the vertical alignment also has three alignment. Top alignment and middle alignment or bottom alignment. By default, any numbers entered into your worksheet will be aligned to bottom right of a cell and any text entered will be aligned to the bottom left of a cell and to see this clearly expand the width and increase the length of the cell but you can change the alignment of text in the selected cell or cells you will find the six alignment options on the ribbon on the home tab in the alignment group the top three options are for vertical alignment but the lower three belongs to the horizontal alignment try clicking each one button align the number is reposition at the bottom clicking the middle align will realign content to the middle and finally align top bring the content to the top although the horizontal position of cells content is not affected and to change it you should choose one of the three button alignment for horizontal alignment clicking left alignment then center after that click the right alignment that will reposition cell content in horizontal direction while the vertical alignment still fixed so you should adjust both vertical and horizontal alignment setting to any cell now i am going to put content in the middle of the cell vertically and horizontally at the same time and as we use the two you can also do the same work by logging into the format cells dialog box by clicking the dialog box launcher for the alignment group the dialog box will be opened on the alignment tab more aligning options are shown in the alignment section in the dialog box you can set horizontal alignment to left center right in addition to fill that repeats the content on the cell until the cell's width is filled and justify options the second partition which is vertical alignment you can set the vertical alignment to top, middle, bottom and justify. In this example, I have chosen the alignment to be the top left of the cell. Let's uh, try to use the fill option this time. From the format cell dialog box, use the fill horizontally. The text will be repeated in the width of the cell. Also, it is possible to indent cell contents from the left hand edge of a cell. To change the indentation of cell content, click decrease indent or increase indent on the alignment group on the home tab. Each time you click the increase indent button, Excel adds a small amount of space between the cell border and the data itself. 
and if you want to remove the indentation applied to the cell click the decrease indent button each time you click the decrease indent button Excel removes a small amount of space between the cell border and the data itself or you can click the dialog box launcher to log into the format cells dialog box and enter a specific measurement for indentation to add visual effect to a spreadsheet you can display data at different angles now I am going to rotate data in the cell to rotate the cell contents click orientation on the home tab in the alignment group of the ribbon and then select the rotation option that you want the first one angle counter clockwise positions the text in the cell from bottom left to top right the second choice angle clockwise positions the text in the cell from top left to bottom right vertical text centers the text and the place one letter on top of the other rotate text up places the text on the lower right side of the cell and runs it vertically up to the cell final choice rotate text down places the text on the lower left side of the cell and runs it vertically down the cell or you can do the same work by logging into the format cells dialog box here you have three choices to rotate that enter a number between 0 and 90 degree in the degree field or drag the marker under orientation counterclockwise or clockwise you can rotate text up to 90 degree clockwise or counterclockwise the last choice you have in this dialog box is to click vertically to vertically rotate your content thank you for watching edu video world videos see you at the next video